Welcome back, Sylvie Dow from Dow Train Systems and Coach Sylvie. And, well, if you were following me this morning, you know I was out doing some hill repeats. And like I promised, I'm here doing our 30 minute workout. And so, and I know it's eight o'clock. However, that's Wednesdays. That's what Wednesdays are going to be about. We're going to be um, a little bit later. I think we're going to show you. We're going to do Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, right? And today is Wednesdays because I'm going away tonight and I'm not going to do anything from a hotel room tomorrow. So, because I'm going to be sleeping in. All right. So, today, welcome, welcome, welcome. The equipment you're going to need if you have a kettlebell, awesome. If you don't, free weights are going to be what you're going to need. And your straight elastic band. And that's pretty much it. If you want, you can do, um, if you have leg weights, the first one is an inner thigh workout. So you might want to add that um, to your workout. Then we got, and just light weights. Because we're going to do a lot of like lateral raises and front raises uh, in combo with our legs. And then um, the kettlebell is going to be our arms and our abs. All right. So are you guys ready to hear what's going on? So we got inner legs and we got heel raises, squats, and then lateral lunges. And of course, it's all Tabata. So 50 seconds on and 10 second rest. And um, we always start with, ooh, I reset this. We always start with 90 seconds warm up. So my legs are pretty warm, but I'm gonna warm up my shoulders and then we're gonna get started. You guys ready? So make sure you have your water. And of course, we're not using our arena strength bands today, but make sure you get them because we always add them in the workout somewhere and they're all throughout my workout so go to the link above get them $20 off and they're absolutely amazing all right let's get started Ooh, I'm already tired so do whatever you want you can skip you can do burpees but you need to warm up your joints feeling I didn't put my contact <laughs> today. Uh, I was like, wake up at five o'clock to ride at six, right? I was the only one who showed up. And if you look, look, see the line from my cycling shorts? <laughs> I'm like, there's no way I'm putting leggings on today because I'm so, like, it's nice down here. But, oh my gosh, it's sticky, humid. Out. Just need to warm up my arms. Yeah, it's great to get out early. Oh my gosh. If you're not a morning person, you should definitely try it. <laughs> because it's worth it. It's worth getting up early and uh, just getting out walking or lightly jogging or on your bike. So worth it early in the morning because it's so quiet, serene, nobody's around, it's just you. I love it. Okay, so let's get into what we're doing for our legs. And like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing uh, inner thigh so you can basically put these on and leave them on for the duration of our legs um, because the next one is squat and then lateral lunges and instead of taking them on off, so just put them on. If you have them, if you don't, no worries. I mean, these are, oh my gosh, these are probably 20 years old. Right? 
Okay, so inner thigh lift. So basically, right here, working the inner thighs. Lift up and down, and that's a right and a left. And then you're gonna wanna grab some lighter weights. So fives, threes or fives, this is what I have here. And you're gonna be on your toes. Okay, so engaging your calves, and this is a front raise, so we're going to squat down and raise up and down, okay, totally on our toes, and up, so nice and slow. Then the next one is a side lunge and lateral raise, so that's a right and a left as well, okay. And that's our legs. So we got two doubles for a total of 15 minutes. You guys ready? All right, so let's get down. Make sure you got your water. We're gonna blast these legs. Not like I haven't blasted them already. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, you ready? And lift. So like I said, um, if you want to start without weights, if you don't have weights, just straight up leg lifts. We got 50 seconds on, 10 second transition. Good. And lift. You can pulse. So you can always do tempo. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So working that inner thigh strength and you know releasing some fat down there. Boom. Up. Up. Alright. Oh gosh. On to the other side. Oh, I'm telling you. It's gonna be a hot one today. So flex your leg, point your toe, and up. So try and nice, nice and straight. Boom. And breathe. Good. So as a cycle runner, or if you've ever had any, um, you know, hip replacement. This is always good, working on the hips. You might have to ease into it, but working your legs individually is super good for building your strength, right? Okay, let's get up. Let's make this a little bit louder. Okay, we got our three pounds, we're up on our toes, right? And we're gonna squat down and front raise and up so you're totally up onto your toes and down up abs tight down nice and slow so if you're up you're gauging those calves shoulders back down and up down and up, and up, good, and up, good, great for the inner thighs, okay, now we're going to work on our right leg, and we're going to side and out. So let's keep our thumbs down as we do our lateral raise, and up, thumbs in, side, and down. So you can feel the stretch right here. Good. You can make it a little wider, a little deeper. Take your time. Good. And up. So 
thumbs down and up, thumbs in and up. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, other side, right? Good. Excellent. Good. Leaning in. Woof. All right. 20. Let's do this. Lean and raise. So you don't have to use any weights. You can just use your own body weight. You can use a cans from the pantry. Up and down. All right, woo! Let's do this onto the floor. And lift. Good. So try and flex and point the toe. Bring it up. Hold and down. Good. And breathe. Excellent. Keep going. Good job. Twelve. And lift, point, hold, and down. Lift, point, hold, and down. Lift, point, hold, and down. All right. Ready? Take a little break. Up, hold, and down. Hold, and down. Good. Boom. Good. Excellent. Woo! Good job. Good. Excellent. Good. Fourteen. Let's do this. Hold and down. And down. And down. Woo! All right, right into round two. So if you want, you can pick up some fives. All right, you're up on our toes, and we're lunging, and lunging, we're squatting, and up. Okay, so you bring that hip forward, and you're tightening your glutes, and you're down and up. Good. And up. Good. And up. Right up on those toes. Good. Flexing those calves. Excellent. Think about those shoulders. Yeah. Inner thighs. Good. Boom. Excellent. All right. Woo. Moving along. Okay. So I'm going to keep with the fives for the side lunges. So nice and wide. And we're going to point those pinkies out and thumbs in. So we're going to change it up. And in. You can widen that stance a little deeper and breathe. Good. And down. Oh, I can really feel these fives. And down. So thumbs together, pinkies up, and lean. Breathe. Good. Excellent. 
Okay. Oof. Ready? Don't forget to take your break. I used to never take breaks. I mean, 10 seconds is much, isn't much of a break, but it's a good one. Lean and down. Up and down. So thumbs in, pinkies out and in. Good. Excellent. Up and down. Last one. Woo! All right. Round three. Here we come. All right. Point and down. Point and down. Good. Boom. Point and down. Good. Really focusing on those inner thighs. So let's point the toe out and down. So let's keep like the foot kind of flat. Do really the twist. Really focus to get the inner inner thigh. And down. Boom. Five. Let's do this. Round three. Oof. That's really good. Okay. All right. So let's keep that foot kind of flat instead of pointing it. And we're gonna really twist and contract. Boom. Really tighten the inner thigh. Good. Boom. Boom. Good. Keep going. Excellent. Up and down. Okay. So we can take these off. This is the last round. We don't need them. Let's grab our weights. Up on our toes and front. And up. Oh, you can feel really feel the inner thigh up on those toes, so stay up on those toes, contracting those calves, and down. Good. Excellent. Good. And out. Up. So we're going to stay here with the fives and we're going to open up our stance a little bit and we're going to go pinkies out and in. So let's really widen that and get low and in, out and in, out and in, good. And in. And in. Good. Out. And in. Perfect. And in. Good. And out. And in. Awesome.
awesome. All right, let's do this last one for our legs. All right. Pinkies out and in. Good. And in. Boom. And in. Good. Boom. And good. Excellent, 15, come on, and in, out, and in, good, three, hold it, and awesome, all right, let's move on to the arms, Oof. okay, so this is going to be tough stuff, so, um, Either pick a dumbbell. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, I always, you know, suggest stuff around the house. You know, a four liter bottle of vinegar. Um, you can empty that out and then put rocks in it, things like that. Um, so I am going to start with a 20 pounder here. And then I'm going to move to a 36. Okay. I'm going to up the ante. All right. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this here. Okay. So you pick your dumbbells and, uh, and you need your band. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. So first one is a front front raise. So that's why I'm going to go, I'm going to start with this. Well, actually, no, I'm going to start with the heavier one because, you know, I can literally do this one here. Okay. So it's an upright row. Okay. Okay. That's what we're doing. Boom. Okay. I might start with the 20s just to warm up the shoulders. So that's what we'll do. We'll start it light. And then the next one is a double. It's going to be your single arm swing, uh, not swing, uh, upright row. Okay, so really targeting the backs of the shoulders and your lats and just generally your back. Okay, so that's, and then the next one. Let's see if you can see this. All right, I'm just gonna twist this over here a little bit to the door. So I'm going to take this, I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna wrap it around the doorknob on the other side, okay? So it's tight. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pulling back, okay? So it's like a face pull. So if you had the ropes and the cable, you would be kind of like, you know, opening it up in, out. So it's like a V. So we're kind of like this and out, this and thumbs out, this and thumbs out. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, if you have like a single, like a band like this, same thing, wrap it around the door handle and you're basically going to be pulling. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's drink. All right. Upright row. Boom. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to warm up, didn't I? <laughs> That's good. Oh, that feels so much lighter. All right, 30. So think about slight bend in your knee, knees, abs tight, and you bring it up right to your chest and down. 
Good. 15. And breathe. Good. Boom. Boom. All right. So now we're going to move to the single. So you want to be bent over, butt out like this. You're not like this. Okay? Flatten your back, ass out, arm and up. Okay? Boom. Boom. Keep your head up. Down. Press. Down. Boom. 20. Boom. Okay, remember, keep your back flat. You don't want to be like this. Okay, straighten it, butt out. Boom. Boom. All right. Other side. Drop it, power. Drop it, punch. Good. Good. Boom. Excellent. Twelve. go to the face pull. Okay, so we're going to go over here to our band. And grab, give me up. So elbows are nice and straight and you're basically pulling back. So you're opening it up. Bring your hands in and then out. In and then out. So let me see if you can. And out. So keep those Elbows up, okay? So you're really feeling it in the back, delts, and forward. Press. Good. Abs tight. Glutes engaged. Head up. Boom. Good. Boom. All right. Woo! Okay, now we're going to bring out, well, we're not going to bring out, we're going to go to, we're going to continue with this guy. Oh, yeah, we're going to bring out the big guns. 36 and up. And up. I'm going to be doing less of these, but they're going to work. My muscles a lot harder. Excellent. Oh, ten. Oh, let's go. Couple. All right. Okay, so we're going to continue with this weight for our upright row. Okay, you guys ready? Am I ready? Boom. Two. Three. Oh. You really need to engage your abs. Here, we're lifting heavier weight. So if you got dumbbells that are harder, if you don't, you can tempo one, two, three. Eight. All right. Woo! I don't feel like 
your arm's gonna fall off then. Not doing it hard enough. All right. Okay. Other side. Of course, this one's stronger. So release, stretch the back, and punch. Head up. Twenty-five. So take your rest. Back tight. Good. Seven. Oh. Let's grab some water. All right, let's tax those arms a little bit more. Pulling in and punching. In, pull. So let's tempo. One, two, three. You can go further back to make it a little bit harder. You can go up forward, grab it so it's a little bit harder. Good. And up. Abs in, boom, good, together and out, together, oh, Woo. all right, round three. All right, let's do this. Up, up, up. Mm. Oh. Yep, mm. twenty five. Ten. Let's do this. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Last round. Last round. Kettlebells. Okay. Let's do this. One. Abs three, four. Why am I counting? Just do it. Boom, boom, fifteen. getting hot, sticky, and sweaty, just like cycling before. It's like, oh, nice and cool down here. All right. Oh, let's do this punch. Boom. Oh, all right, 
Let's do this last one. I want to try something really heavy. Oh my gosh, is it getting hot out there? Oh, I guess it, this is not going to work. <laughs> because the door won't even close. Okay. Alright, we've got 30 seconds left. Let's do this. What? <laughs> okay. Make sure your door is closed properly. Maybe locked. Alright, let's finish it up. Boom. Good. Tempo. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Good. Keep those elbows out. All right. Fabulous, everybody. Okay. We're on to abs. Okay, so let's clear up our space. Let's put our kettlebells away. And bring out a small one or your dumbbells, okay? Or some dumbbells. So we will have one that uh, goblet sit up. Okay, so we'll need a heavier kettlebell. So I'm going to grab a 15s. Not that 15. That's a 20. 15. Okay, so goblet sit up. So basically here, over, up, and press. Down, up, and press. Okay, so that's our first one. And then you can either hold on to the 15 or you can go down to a 10. So like I said, keep a variety of weights. You're gonna be in a V sit or you can put your, you can have your toes touching down and you're gonna basically one, two, reach. One, two, reach. One, two, and reach. Okay, so that's number two. And then we got figure eight. Okay, so you're gonna continue holding onto your kettlebell and you're gonna be passing it through your legs like that. Okay? All right, last nine minutes of our workout and you're gonna be good to go. All right. Okay. And up, down, so you're going to straight up and you're going to kind of like one vertebrae at a time, back down and power up. And up. Good. And up. And down. Good. Excellent. Up. Good. And perfect. Okay, so you can continue holding on to your weights, your 15 here. All right, side to side and press. Side, side, press, side, side, press. So you can keep your toes down or good. One, two, and up. Down, Ooh, totally 
All right, now lift up the tens. We're gonna get right into a V-sit on our butt, and we're gonna pass it around in like a figure eight. So right through your legs, boom. All right now, you're probably like, oh my God, my shoulders. Yeah. I might go down because of that. Press it through, engaging those abs. If you need to touch down, touch down. Your foot. Oh, oh my gosh. I think my shoulders are just like done. Okay. Next round two. Here and up. So nice and slow. And up. Good. And up. And breathe. And up. Good. 20. Side, side, press. Side, to side, press. Because I went down, it's not about my shoulders right now. It's, I really want to focus on my abs. And I was having too much focus on my shoulders. But I want my abs working right now. Good. fives. All right, up, and we're going to pass it around. I really want to contract the abs here. Excellent. legs. Ooh, come on. Round two done. Twenty. Let's go. Take it easy on your back. All right. So the ten pounds. All right. Side. 
side to side and up. Side, side, up. Last one. Grab the fives. Oh. All right, up. Let's do this. Contract those abs. So I was thinking, when I was on my hill, doing my hill repeats, how much I appreciate my upper body strength because when you're sprinting or you're going hard on the hills, you really pull a lot on the handlebars. So I was just thinking about that and um, how, you know, upper body strength is totally needed when cycling. <clears throat> High five, high ten, if you can lift your hands. Awesome work. So yeah, that's what I was totally thinking this morning. I'm like, and not to mention that, you know, having a good, like a good strong upper body not only looks better than having skinny arms. I'm sorry, I don't have to say it. And, you know, as runners, totally thin, 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 um, and uh, kind of like fragile, frail. So it's important, and I can't reiterate enough, especially as women, we need to strength train, body weight, weight-bearing exercises, um, you know, at definitely by age 30 because we start losing muscle mass, bone density, um, all these things. So anyways, uh, let's just get into a little bit of a stretch. And so, you know, in addition to that topic, if you want to build muscle, you need to be eating protein. Protein, 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 protein. So it's like 0.75 grams per pound. 0.75 grams per pound or one gram per pound. So whatever your weight is, do the calculation. Then start thinking, am I getting enough protein in the day? And if you're like, yeah, I challenge you to track it and really see. Like, really track go to my fitness pal or carb manager let's clean up our space and really track it and if you want I will look at it track it for three days everything you eat and I'll help you analyze um, what your food what you're doing with your food This is good for the legs, especially if you know you do a lot of riding or cycling or sitting. And I stretch. Oh, wait for the hip flexor. Here. Stay. 
Let's do our child's pose. Stretch out, stretch your back and in. Out. In. All right, right up. Feet flat. Bend the knees. And out. And in. Out. All right. Let's get into the last stretch right here. Especially after going out doing hill repeats. I want to make sure everything is good. Perfect. Excellent work, everybody. So, if you haven't had breakfast, I hope you're going to go eat a good breakfast. Not just coffee and toast, but coffee, eggs, and vegetables, and a little bit of toast because you definitely need carbs. But have a great day. And be kind and smile to somebody and send a nice message. <laughs>